ironic that the global outsourcing industry is worth over $250 billion. And yet, the rate of unemployment in Nigeria and Africa keeps increasing. What's going on? There's Fiverr, there's freelance. So what's happening? Now, for me, just like many of us here who have graduated from the university, we're stuck. We don't have options. Like I said when I was talking, it was not the good place to be at. It wasn't. The African society is just not kind to you. They will give you a million reasons as a woman why they can hire you with a two-year-old. How would you work? How would you show up? It's difficult to create a balance. The rate of unemployment in Nigeria is high and women are the worst hit. PwC reported that not less than 28% of women in Nigeria still borrow or ask people for money. And I'm sure it most likely will be higher than that. That was my situation and that's the situation of so many people. And you know the funny thing? The COVID-19 pandemic only made it worse. More women lost jobs and it was difficult. It was also difficult for most businesses to scale. And so the women are there and they don't have jobs because they are not properly skilled to work remotely with the pandemic. And then we have businesses who are finding it difficult to hire remote talent. They'll tell you, I'll hire them and you pay them. They'll stay at home and they won't work, they won't deliver. And so we had been training, we started training in 2019, particularly women with digital skills. In 2020, we pivoted and we pivoted and we started training specifically in social media management, basically to bridge the gap between hiring, getting talent that is well-skilled, as well as solving unemployment for women that were stranded. And so women that were at home and having to raise their kids and take care of their kids and struggling with balance and how to earn, they were trained, upskilled in things like social media and became social media managers earning from between 30,000 to 150,000 monthly from the comfort of their homes. And so we realized, oh, this is a gap that must be filled. And we didn't stop in Nigeria. One time I ran an ad for a course and I didn't know I'd put in Ghana. And out of the 1,000 people who were training in that program, 40% were from Ghana, Kenya, South Africa, and the rest like that. The situation is bad and everybody is trying to survive. My name is Excellence Anirika Joshua, and life hit me hard in 2018, just like it hits most women. My solution did not come from being a medical lab scientist. Technology changed my life, it gave me a new story, and gave me hope again. And so I made up my mind that I'm gonna help as many women as possible have money of their own, leveraging technology. For us at Techie Train, it's not just technology just to become web developers because we train, on, we train on digital skills, specifically in areas of tech, support solutions, marketing, and admin support. So we have virtual assistants, we have web developers, we have data analytics, and all of that. But it was also about them thinking creatively to actually innovate in whatever it is they've learned all their lives. So far, we've trained not less than 6,000. We've helped over 1,000 businesses scale with ready talent. So you don't need to have, you, you don't have to struggle to get online media managers that are not delivering. But now you have online media managers that understand data-driven analytics and are able to work with you and give you the right data to make decisions to increase your visibility and also increase your revenue. We've also helped not less than 500 get jobs and then we've helped most of them, thousands, to become self-gainfully employed. It's been a ripple effect, not just for these women, but for their families, but for their kids. And they understood that technology is not just the remote thing out there. It's something that they can, they can actually vibe with and end with and actually enjoy. We provide two major services, training and outsourcing. For our training, we train on basic digital skills, like I said, in areas of tech, marketing, and admin. Then for outsourcing, we offer two models, the outright and the hybrid model. The outright model, we hire for you, and then with your skills, you tell us your skills, the job descriptions, and the role, and your numeration. So we have a skill bank. We don't just train you, and then we leave them. When we train them, we bring them into our community. We have an incubator. 
where they're constantly being fed with updates about what's going on in their space. We're looking at monetizing that from next year where they get to pay a subscription fee, but so far it's absolutely free. And so when there are opportunities, we put it out there to them. We host webinars once in a quarter to update them on what's going on. And so when you send us your request, we go to that skill bank and we put it out there and they apply and we screen. When we screen, we interview, narrow down to five, and then we have a meeting with you and you select the one you want, and that's it. So we end from that model. We also have the hybrid model where we don't just outrightly hire out the staff to you. So you come to us and then we hire the staff based on what you need, but we also follow up and ensure the deliver on what it is that you need them to do. It's been training all this while. And most people have gained so much trust in how we train and what we do. And so most people feel, oh, you train in techie training. Yes, you can do this. However, we want to do more. We don't want you to have to say, because you train from techie training, that's why you're doing this. We want to be certified by the National Board of Technical Education. So our students can have a diploma when they graduate from our program. And so we're working on it. It's going to cost quite, a million, quite some millions of naira to do that. But that's something we want to do. And we are also setting up our innovation hub where women can come, learn, earn, and work. It's specifically, specifically going to be for women. So we'll have the training area where they can come and learn. And we have the work area where you can come and bid for jobs. You don't have light in your house. You don't have internet. You can just come there away from distractions to work. And then in that incubation hall, which is what we're currently designing, we also have a part for creative kids. So you can come with your kids or your kids from school can come back and then the, the school bus can drop them there. And in that creative kid, the kids are not just there um, watching ABC or TV, but they are also learning things like AI, robotics, and all of that. Tech skills, as well as things that can boost their creativity. So you are undistracted learning or working, and at the end of the day, you can go. And so we have the network of women and community where women can grow, learn, earn, and grow. The goal, three ways that women can, be, can grow in terms of intellect, and then work, and then they have welfare to train, to, to, to sustain themselves, their families, and as well as develop the society. Thank you.